Hi everyone. Today I have a couple project to share with you. The Facebook group that I join, we have a toilet paper roll swap for this month, and I decided to make it to be a pin cushion. And here, this is the project that I come out with. Um, I just cover the the toilet paper roll with pattern paper first and then I use the doily that I crochet to be a second layer in the front and this image is a napkin that I decoupage on the felt and I cut it around and then I went around the edge uh, with this white trim and then I glue it over the top of the the um, doily and on the back side I have this big uh, pink flower that I made from the lace and this uh, tear ribbon and I put the button on the cinder and then um, I glue it on the top of the lily bouquet that I made this flower I got from Wild Orchid Craft and then I just stuck some purse string and then the cheese cloth under just to make it um, look dimensional and then I have some um, paper but the fly here and here and on the bottom I just go around with the pink trim and have some lily flowers around some pearl string and on the top I did the same thing just go uh, around with some trim two layers the white and the pink and then I have a pearl string around it's my first time to alter the paper roll so I hope um, she like it she likes pink and brown so I um, decided to choose pink because I also like pink and it's the first one then I also make her some uh, stick pin that she can use with that pin cushion. This is also my first time to do a stick pin. I saw a lot of tutorial and then I just you know try to make it on my own way. But it's come out okay though. Um, this one I just had uh, flowers on the button and then I glue it over the top of the bow and have the feather on the back and also have the lace flowers on the back um, and some beads and this one it also the flowers and some beads and I have pearl string and a white tool on the back and I use the this white flowers uh, to uh, stick on the back all the three of them because I want to hide the, the glue uh, that I use this one is the button and has this lace flowers that I made and then uh, some feather on the back and some beads. I hope she like it. It's my first time and I kind of like making this. I might make more of it. And I also make her some um, paper clip so she can use it uh, for the card or the journal 
if you like. It's the same style. Um, just I just use the dream and then some flowers and the scent, the words, the key word put on. It's cute. And I also make her a card. It's a double pocket card, I think. Um, yeah, in the front, I just have a big rose flower that I make. And then this lily is from Wild Orchid Craft. And this is the flower that I use the lace to make it. I just glue the doily paper, paper doily, uh, first, and then I use some cheese cloth, and then tuck some um, fabric and lace on here and here, and then just start gluing the flowers on, and also have these bead leaves. And this the lace to go on the edge. And inside I just make it simple. Just have the die cut shape here, some sentiment and this is a team hole tissue tape and some flower sticker. Here I just gonna uh Put some note for her. I also tuck in some. Uh, I think it's six by four card. Yeah. This I got um, from Prima set, but I cannot remember what the name of the set. But I just put three of it in here. And in the front, our thing, I just gonna tuck this one in like this. It's look cute. That's all for today, and I hope she like it. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.